Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what I've done. I've been playing with the Wise Sense um, contacts, if you will, or uh, the wireless contacts uh, from Wise. Uh, they're the makers of the uh, cheap, um, say, inexpensive uh, cameras, which I've got all over the house and outside. Uh, these new sensors are um, quite intriguing. Uh, battery powered, um, they utilize a bridge that's plugged into the back of one of the um, cameras. Uh, they also make uh, motion sense, uh, PIR sensors, uh, battery powered also. This one comes with the um, two pieces, the magnet and the transmitter. Uh, it's got a simple reed switch in it that uh, you would simply um, have one of, it, one of these elements mounted to the door and the door frame. When you open the door, it breaks the contacts uh, using the reed switch. Um, somewhere I've got a reed switch here. That is a magnetic uh, reed switch there. Uh, that is what's inside of the Y sense. And all I've done is I've uh, taken the um, Y sense apart and I've removed the circuit board, and the reed switch is mounted over here. And I've simply unsoldered the reed switch and then put in uh, two wires one on each side where the reed switch uh, was originally located. Drilled a hole to uh, push the wires through. Um, I've got on my um, breadboard over here, I've got uh, a reed switch and also I've got a photo transistor that I've been playing with that I've been working with trying to make a dawn to dusk sensor, a uh, wireless one that I can utilize. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the reed switch so that I can um, show you what happens um, with the use of the reed switch. And I've got my voltmeter over here that I'm going to connect to both the uh, both sides of the reed switch or the circuit here, so we can see what goes on with the pull down circuit inside of the Y's. Oops, I'm backwards. Sorry. Move those around. Should have about, um, yep, got about 2.5 volts normally uh, when the reed switch is open. Um, you'll notice my phone over here has got the, um, I've named this specific uh, sensor Dust to Dawn. Uh, so I'm going to move, take the magnet and move it near the um, reed switch. And you'll notice that it should change to closed. And when I remove the re uh, magnet from the reed switch, it'll go to open. So once again, it's just making and breaking that contact uh, between uh, the circuit uh, inside the Y's sensor. Once again, 2.5, and it, when it closes, it pulls that circuit down to uh, ground or to zero volts. So very simple. So. Uh, I've been playing with a, um, first I started with a photo um, resistor here, um, trying to get that to um, actuate this, um, turn on and off this uh, PNP transistor um, connected to that circuit, and I wasn't very successful doing that, so I decided to go to a photo transistor. Uh, the photo transistor has an emitter and a, or a collector and emitter. Uh, the base is actually the uh, light sensing portion of this. So uh, let's go ahead and move over to it and I'm going to move my leads over to the photo transistor. There we go. And you notice that there's a small amount of uh, continuity through the transistor. It went down to 2.3, but it's not enough to change the state of the um, of the sensor itself. I believe it takes about 1.3, maybe a little lower than that, to actually make a state change. Uh, right now, we're in the open position, meaning there's no continuity through that transistor. Uh, to turn this transistor on, we need a 
light source. Um, so I'm going to take my flashlight here and put a light source to it. You'll notice that we drop down to zero volts, meaning that we've turned that um, transistor on and we've changed the state of my um, uh, of the sensor uh, to closed, from open to closed. If I remove the light, it should do the same. We go back up to 2.3 volts and the change the state of the um, sensor. Uh, the only issue I found with this uh, setting out in uh, the daylight, it works great, except uh, at dawn and at dusk, uh, at low light levels, um, this begins to oscillate. It goes on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Um, I've tried to buffer that using a small thin film uh, capacitor. Going across both of those, uh, it seems to help. Still not 100% uh, there yet. Um, again, we'll turn it off. Or, I'm sorry, close it. And there it's closed. And now we're going to move it to open. And it's open. So, uh, overall that would work fairly well. Uh, I'm not um, really thrilled with it. Um, I could spend a lot more time trying to buffer, uh, debounce that uh, transistor from going on, off, on, off. Since I do not have access to the base, um, a third lead on this transistor, to make adjustments to that threshold when that comes on and goes off, it may be very difficult to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to um, continue to play with this and hopefully um, might be able to tweak it a little bit. But I'm also going to move to I'm going to work on using one of these um, solar powered lights. Um, these solar powered lights, obviously when you put your when it goes dark, the light comes on and when it sees light it goes off. What I've noticed about these, these are buffered very well, meaning the light doesn't flash during low light levels. Um, it's either on or off, so they've done a good job of buffering that output to the LED in there. So my plans are I'm going to remove the LED and put an um, uh, optic isolator in there, or I could just physically um, physically do this, put a uh, transistor in there and it should do the same, which it did. And on. Oh, there's our oscillation that I was just talking about. It's due to the low light level on that transistor. I need to supply it some light. There we go. So that's another way of um, being able to control this. And we started the cycle of the isolation. There it goes. It stopped. So um, that's going to be my next project: is to use one of these. Going to put. A, I'm going to try one where I just couple uh, the transistor and the LED together with a piece of uh, heat shrink, uh, so no external light will come in. Uh, I've been playing with these. These are 97 cents or a dollar at the dollar store. Uh, kind of nice. I will. Um, I've got several of them to play with here. I'm going to make one a coupled unit, coupling to that, and the second unit I'm going to use a, a optic isolator, which is basically the same thing, uh, except it's in an IC, a little integrated circuit. It physically has a small LED inside and then a small transistor built inside of it, uh, all encased, and it would do the same thing. Uh, once this goes to uh, turns on, it'll make contact between um, uh, the uh, collector and emitter inside here, and then I'd be able to operate uh, the Y sense switch. So more of that to come uh, as I move through this project. I'll get back with you. Thank you.